Welcome to week 41 of my Trading for a Living Challenge, where the goal is to make a nine to five income, which is around $1,000 every single week. But I'm going to try to do that by selling options. And if you are brand new, the full playlist is down below in the description and in the pinned comment. So we're week 41, we're nearly there. We're around 11 weeks away from completing this overall challenge. And week 41, again, I have smashed the weekly goal number by $262 or 26%. We'll go through the trades and everything in more detail, but what I like to do first is just show you guys how long it's actually taken me to place these trades, how much of my capital I'm actually using, and then we'll get into the trades I've placed as well as looking at the charts and where I think some of these stocks that I'm trading with are going. So again, here, if you look at it, nine to five job, 40 hours a week, I've done it for a lot less than that. So again, another massive impact here in terms of time saved to make over $1,000 every single week. And if we look at it where we are from a cumulative perspective, we are 5% behind the goal or where a nine to five job will give us just over 42K and we've just made just under 40K trading in less of the time. And if we have a look at our total, we've just done 24 and a half hours versus 1600 hours to basically be behind by 2.2k which again is absolutely fantastic and if we as we scroll down on here if we go all the way back here you can see the bottom but now we can see the bottom of where the total of a nine to five job is just under 54k and we are already at 39 or basically 40,000. so we're only 25 percent behind where we need to be with 11,000 to go so I do need to call some back as you see we are still 2.2k behind but off to a good start in week 41. In terms of the capital a bit more on the high side around 42% I don't want to be higher than 50% but overall I needed to place one new trade in week 41 just to get me over the line the rest of the money came from adjustments of current trade so that's a nice segue of going into the trade tab and as I always do I take screenshots of all the trades that I've done so you can pause the video and have a look at the trades how much they cost all these kind of good things but I've put them into this section by underlying in terms of what's going on so I'll just be focusing on the trades for week 41 and then we'll go into the charts so we did an adjustment here in week 41 where we just rolled down one of our calls from 1 200 to 190 we have a look here is that Tesla is trading at 170 and you can see here we have the 200 call up here we traded it down to 190 so we've got our inverted strangle in purple here the 130 call 180 put and what we did last month is we rolled it forward rolling up from 125 to 130 keeping the put strike where it was and this is why I have pivot levels on my chart here because you can see Tesla started to go right back up to its monthly May pivot level which I think will hang around there and break out one way or the other but hopefully for what I wanted to do is not stay where about <coughs> stay where it is because then my calls are going to be very easy to roll into the next July cycle as well as this put I might be able to roll this put down because we're getting closer to the at the money strike and it's not too far away from my call and i'm going to roll that up by five dollars as you guys know this call has been causing me some problems so every monthly cycle i've been rolling this by by five dollars which is costing me around three hundred dollars which is why i have the put and two other calls to generate enough premium to offset the roll up to 135 so it tesla did get down to a low of 152 which again is not too far away from my call but Again, I would rather it stay somewhere in this inversion and hopefully what I can do is roll this up to the 135, roll my put down to the 175, hopefully do that for a small debit and then utilize my two calls to offset any of that. So if I can do Tesla's roll into the next cycle and break even, I'll do that. And you can see I've got my 300 shares all the way up here at 280, 250. And we won't speak about those because we are where we are with that. And then if we have a look at Mesa, we thought we want to get just us two adjustments here. 
I adjusted the short strangle that I've got as well as on the put side. And I also adjusted the short put that I have here. So if we head over to the chart for Meta, you can see again, we've had our, we talked about last week of its two, two earning jumps that we've had. And now again, very similar to Tesla has come back to its May pivot. We still have a missed <coughs> April pivot, which hopefully we needed to come down, but not too far down. We wanted to get to around 2.13, I think, by the time we do the next roll into the next cycle. So we have the 120 call and 200 puts, that's the inverted strangle. And then we've got this 200 put here. So this is the one where we adjusted up from the 190, I believe it was. <laughs> yeah, the 190 to the uh, to the 200 put. And again, so far not much we can do. Unlike Tesla, where Tesla was, the shares were right above the current price. Annoyingly, we do have shares that are doing really well for us, but this call is causing us a problem. So what we want to do is roll up this call to the 140 strike so I can dump this call and start then selling. I'll just get rid of my share so then I can create new calls again going forward. Will I do that before the challenge is up? Probably not because we've only really got two more cycles until then. If we do $5 each, that takes me to 130. So I might have to do it before the end of the challenge, but you can see what I'm doing here. I'm trying to move this thing up and selling puts to offset the debit that I'm going to pay. Very similar to Tesla. And that's when I changed my strategy of not being assigned shares and doing weekly covered calls. So again, check out the previous videos if you want to understand more about how I got into trouble and how I'm managing these two positions. So unfortunately, Tesla and Meta aren't really making me that much money when it comes to the role because I'm taking debits and it's the other trades that are not only carrying those debits, but also generating enough premium to again, that still hit my $1,000 weekly goal so if we go back that's that's meta if we go to coinbase very nice simple adjustment there we roll down from the 95 strike to the 80 coinbase has been absolutely being hammered after earnings and then we nearly got tested on our put strike here for a contract it's got to a low of 50 dollars 47 it has jumped up slightly as you can see it's down 2.3 percent today but but had a pretty good couple of days and again we roll these calls down here just to get get some more premium in adjust the delta slightly to give some cover to this short put i'm not planning on doing anything with this short put if it does get tested i've got two calls here that i can roll down even though this is for eight contracts and these two i think are for three each yep i've got three each there so i've basically got six on the call side and eight on the put side so I am slightly long delta based on the skew of contracts that I have. But again, I'm not too fussed about this one at the moment. We're thankfully we're away from our 45 strike. We're currently trading at 56. So we've still got $11, pretty much $12 leeway before we get tested on the 45. And then we've got these two calls that we've got comfortably sitting up there. So again, no problem here with Coinbase at the moment. Again, another adjustment to bring in some more premium. Google, there was nothing to do really on Google. I think we got the 95, I believe. Yeah, we got the 95. Again, Google's up about a percent flirting with its May pivot, which is all good. We do have a missed pivot over here in April, which we could see some potential move downwards, but it has to pass this May pivot. Uh, April pivot, sorry, and a weekly pivot in April as well. That it hasn't, oh, is this a March pivot? This is a March weekly, and we've got the April monthly. It has to pass through both those big resistance points or before it, or support points rather, before it touches our 95 pip. So I'm not planning on doing much to this one. This one is working its way up. I could go up to the 100 but then that is flirting with a bit of danger if google starts to drop if google breaks past these highs i might move up to the 100 depending on what the next step need to be there iwm so this is where i placed a brand new trade just to get me over the line i did the 185 158 a strangle again i'm liking iwm the volatility is not that bad 
on it. So we've kind of got two different color coded. So we've got one strangle, which is the original strangle, the 185, 162, fairly in there. Then we've got the 184, 158. Again, you can see that IWM is trading around these ranges and therefore my short strikes are both way outside of this kind of range. And if IWM gets anywhere near the 162, we've got other problems to worry about other than it penetrating my short put strike. And then Mara, I did a roll, had earnings, which it went up on earnings, but we had a comfortable 2250 roll down to 16. So again, generate $190 of premium on our 10 contracts. So if we have a look at Mara, you can see here we got the 16 strike. It hasn't been at the 16 strike for a while by the looks of things here. Last time we was there was back in August last year. And it's it's made it's making its move up, but we still got a lot of time left for it to get to $16 and pretty much that's an 80, 90% move for us where it needs to go. And as you can see here, it's flirting with this main pivot. So really not much else we need to do there. I could bring it down to the 14 if I need to bring in some more premium based on adjustments as that data decay comes in. But overall, we made 190 on Mara, through 232 on IWM, didn't do anything on Google, Coinbase made 225, it's a big one, Meta 336, and we made 308 from Tesla. So you can see here how I'm placing adjustments on the monthlies to generate additional premiums. So when I roll out from, let's say, the May cycle to the June cycle, what I'm trying to do here is generate a premium from adjustments based on how the stock has moved and then potentially open up new trades like I did with IWM, as you can see here, to make up any difference that I need to be. So I don't wanna keep opening up new trades. I don't really wanna do that, but I've got enough open trades now to adjust as price does what price does to generate premium. So if I can make 80, 90% from adjustments, and then if I need to open an additional contract here or there to do that, to generate more premium, I will do that to get to where we need to get to. Again, if we have a look at the overview tab, we're not doing that badly. I'm quite happy with where things are. You can see now there's a lot more green inside here than there are reds when I did it previously. And that's because again, I wasn't on margin and I was selling weeklies. So those were the two kind of downfalls of this. And what I've really understood picking up doing this challenge is to really make money, you need to play on margin, but do margin safely as I'm not going fully leveraged out to 80, 90% of my account. So I can withstand potential drawdowns in this account at 42%. And then at the same time, I've moved out from weeklies. And the problem with my Tesla and Meta calls that are deep in the money. The reason why I have those is I did weekly covered calls against the shares that I've got and price jumped up so fast, so quickly that I had so much gamma, uh, which is one of the option Greeks, that it was very hard for me to keep rolling, rolling. And the price got too far, too fast away from me, which is why I moved to the monthly cycle. So again, I'm glad I've gone through this process to understand that adapting my trading approach. And you can see this with all these reds that I've got here to now a lot more green. So if we have a look at the last green one and that's the last 14 weeks, one, two, three, four, five, five, five weeks where I didn't hit target. And these on that five, $200, $300. Yeah, there's some big ones. These ones here are like my rolls that I'm doing where I'm taking those debits for Meta and Tesla because those debits are so high, I can't generate enough premium to cover those losses. I am making credits but not enough to hit my 1000 goals so i only made 427 dollars because i took a lot of debits in that particular period so i'm not taking any losses in the weeks where some weeks i had 51 dollars but i am making money every single week but those losses or those trades that have gone against me due to my own trading errors that i'm doing have caused my kind of downfall so i wish i really did this from the if i did this from the beginning when I went on to margin and started selling monthlies, so if I look at it from here, I've generated 16.8K versus 
versus a target of 14.4. So I'll be clearly very doing very good against this challenge. So I'm confident I can try to make it back. As you say here, I'm only 5% behind back to in the deepest, darkest hours where I was 13% behind. So since then, I've crawled back best part of 2K in the portfolio. So really hope you've enjoyed this video. Again, watch the full playlist. We'll walk you through the whole transition about this process. And I shall see you guys in the next video.